Imagine that we were at a restaurant. This is the table in front of us. And off to the side, we have a giant stack of identically sized coasters. Today, we're going to play a game, and the loser is responsible for today's bill. Here's how it works. You'll go first by placing one of the coasters anywhere on the table. We will then alternate back and forth each choosing to put another coaster somewhere else on the table. There are only a couple of restrictions here. One, each coaster cannot overlap with another coaster. That is, it must be entirely on the table itself. And connected to that, you're not allowed to place a coaster so it is hovering over the edge of the table. In other words, the entirety of the coaster must be on the table. Play continues, like I said, until you run out of space, essentially, and one of us is no longer able to place the coaster fully on the table. That person will be declared the loser, the other will be declared the winner, and the loser is responsible for the bill today. As you can see here, we're about to run out of room, and that would be the final move of the game. And trust me, I spent a lot of time trying to squeeze another one on there. It was not possible. It turns out that you can use a little bit of game theory to guarantee yourself the win. And that's today's puzzle. You go first. Design a strategy that guarantees you the victory. And while you think about that, check out some of these cool books that I've written. Your hint for today is going to largely give away the solution to this. So I'm going to give you a quick moment to think about it on your own. And if you're ready now for your hint, think about how you might be able to apply strategy ceiling to this game to guarantee yourself the victory. Are you ready for the solution? If not, let me give you a deeper hint. The opening move that you should make in this game is to take that initial coaster and move it directly to the center of the table. Do you see it now? If not, I'll give you another hint. Imagine that my initial move is to place a coaster there. What should you do next? Well, if you adopt this strategy, you would place your second coaster over there. And if my second move was to place a coaster here, you should follow up by placing a coaster there. Do you see the pattern now? All you need to do to win this game is mirror my movements. So if I place a coaster there, you will go to the opposite side of the table and place a coaster over there. Likewise, if I go on this corner, then you should go onto the opposite corner. If I go here, then you should go there. As long as you follow that pattern and are good enough with your fine motor skills, there will always be a place to drop your coaster as long as there was a place for me to drop mine. And because you opened the game by placing a coaster in the center of the table, you have guaranteed that there is only room on the table overall for an odd number of coasters, no matter how I place things. Thus, you are guaranteed to win this game, and I am guaranteed to lose. An interesting property about this game is that the solution is not limited to circular coasters. It also works for rectangular ones. As long as you put that opening coaster dead center, and are then very careful in how the rest of the rectangles are oriented, you will once again ensure that you have the last move, and so you win the game, and your opponent loses.
Did you figure this one out? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Take care.